obviously I was sat in front of QVC one day going yeah yeah I need that I need that it took every fiber of my body not to basically just lick it all off hey loves welcome back I'm holding a big basket of rubbish so that can only mean one thing one I'm crazy or two it's time to go through my product empties these are the products I have used up over the last I don't know how long actually it's probably been like a month maybe a month and a half since my last empty video i absolutely love empties videos they're one of the things i enjoy watching the most on youtube i honestly feel like when someone has used a product up in its entirety they can form a really good opinion about it if someone's used something up completely and they've already repurchased it that gives me a really good indication that that product is definitely worth me checking out so i've collected up all my crap i'm going to share with you what i loved what was amiss what i've already repurchased so if you want to see what's in here then keep watching the first thing is my favorite natural deodorant this is my native this is the coconut and vanilla native is a paraben free aluminium free brand i'm pretty sure i've spoken about this a few times but just in case you don't know I went on a bit of a journey trying to find an aluminium kind of more natural healthy deodorant and I tested out maybe like five different deodorants. Some of them didn't work. I basically by the end of the day stunk. Some of them because of the bicarbonate of soda I think made my armpits so so itchy like it was ridiculous. Native is the only brand that I found that doesn't make me itch like a crazy person and that it works like I wear this I don't have to reapply it and by the end of the day even after a workout I'm still smelling fresh I do a whole different bunch of scents um oh I love 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 native so if you're looking for a natural deodorant that works then definitely check them out next is the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm I've already repurchased this and I've bought it in a massive big size this stuff is insane Firstly, it smells like something, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do that annoying thing where people smell stuff on the internet. Um, doesn't that really annoy you? It annoys me, but I'm going to do it. <sighs> I just wish that you could smell this. And if you've got this, you'll know exactly what I mean. If you've got this, drop it in the, the note in the comments to let me know just how wonderful you think this is. The smell is like the most incredible spa it's a cleansing balm, so it dissolves all of your makeup, all of the dirt, or anything on your face. You put it onto dry skin, you massage it all over, all over your eyes, everywhere. Then you can remove it with like a damp flannel or a cloth or whatever. And it takes off absolutely everything. You can also use it as kind of like a mask. You can put it on your face for like 10 minutes and let it sit there so that all the yummy ingredients kind of get to your skin. I wouldn't do that if I'm using it to remove my makeup. So if I'm taking off a full face, I wouldn't let it sit on my skin with all the makeup and dirt hanging out there for like 10 minutes. But if I'm using it on cleanish skin already, like makeup free skin, then I put it on, massage it in, it melts into my skin. I leave it on for 10 minutes and it's just delicious. I'm obsessed. And like I said, I've already repurchased it. This won't come as a surprise. I've showed this dirty old screwed up tube many a times on my channel. This is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. My favourite foundation of all of last year. I've already repurchased it. Where are you? Here you are. Already got myself a new one. I love it. It's like a full coverage, hydrating, beautiful foundation. It's buildable. It wears wonderful. SPF 50. Like it does everything I want it to do. Especially now that my skin is a little bit drier. It's got a pump so it stays hygienic just wonderful the next thing is from beauty bio i've mentioned this brand quite a few times now and i have slowly started to switch up quite a lot of my skincare from to beauty bio i'm pretty sure there'll be more in here this is the daily intensive vitamin cocktail serum this is a serum i use in the morning it's a really intense vitamin c it's clear it's lightweight it doesn't make me break out it's not greasy or thick or heavy my skin just drinks it up and then I pop my moisturiser on top. I absolutely love it. It is more expensive, not going to lie. Beauty Bio is a more high-end brand, but I honestly believe, especially with this brand, is that you get what you pay for. I'm obsessed with Beauty Bio. I've already repurchased it and I love it. What I'm not obsessed with is the fact that my lip gloss is like giving me a joker mouth. Fantastic. The next thing is the Mark Hill Styling Heat Protection Spray. I kind of love the style of the pump. But I'm not blown away with it. I won't repurchase it. Um, I always use heat protectors on my hair. So I wash my hair, put in leave-in conditioners. If you've not seen my hair video, I'll leave it in the description box. A heat protection spray is something I use all of the time. And I think they're super, super important. But for some reason, this smell, 
a bit too hairspray like when I sprayed it it just it's felt I don't know I just I'm not sure I just wasn't convinced I used it all I'm sure it did a good job but it's not something I would buy again oh what a surprise every empties video there'll be at least one of these bad boys this is the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water I've used this for years and years and years it's a beautiful makeup remover it removes my makeup eye makeup waterproof mascara everything doesn't make me break out it's great for sensitive skin it's super affordable it's always on special offering like boots or super drug or wherever I actually saw a video the other day with uh, Kourtney Kardashian using this, so obviously it's a celeb favourite. <laughs> I'm going to be really pushed to find something that's this affordable that does this much of a good job. Does that even make sense? Love it. We'll always rebuy this. See a beauty by a lid, so there must be in here somewhere. Oh yes. This is a serum I use at night underneath my moisturiser. It's called the Nightly, and this one's called the Daily. It's very, very clever. This is the Moduline. Moduline? Moduline? Mm, I don't know. This is the Moduline Peptide Filling Sphere Serum. It's basically, I think, like a retinol based serum. Again, sinks in beautifully. It's not thick or heavy. My skin drinks it up. I have noticed the biggest difference with my skin since I started really using a lot of Beauty Bio. Already repurchased this. This is the L'Occitane Herbe um, Beauty Milk. It's like a body lotion. My beautiful friend Claire bought me this with the shower gel. It's, this smells divine. It's a really, really lightweight body moisturiser. So it's a good one to use in the day if you need to get dressed quick. Sinks in quick. I'm a big fan of L'Occitane, especially their kind of shea butter hand creams. They are delicious. Um, I really, really enjoyed this. I'm just banging it on the floor. Another beauty bio, I told you I'm a big fan. This is a mini. This is the Balance pH Balancing Cleanser. Um, I don't remember when I got the mini one, but I used it quick. I am going to keep the bottle because I re already repurchased like the big mama bear cleanser quite a few months ago. And this is a great size for travel. So I'm going to refill this. I use the cleanser in the morning because at night I'll, I'll use my cleansing balm. I love it. It doesn't dry out my skin, doesn't sting, doesn't make my skin red or make me break out. It's a really beautiful cleanser. Smells divine. Yep, love it. Told you I was a fan of Beauty Bio. I'm sure there's not any more in here, otherwise it's slightly embarrassing. This is a random one, and I almost didn't put this in, but then I put it in because I thought, why not? I'm going to talk about it super quick. This is the Hydrating Water Infusions Apple and Melon Original Source Shower Gel. It's a bit of a, what? A original Source Shower Gel, really? But I just wanted to mention it quick because it smells so, so good. So this is Apple and Melon, and this is the first melon-based scented beauty product that I've ever used actually smells like proper melon not synthetic melon it says it's a hundred percent natural fragrance and here we go again she's smelling thing it just smells like proper fresh cut honeydew melon on a summer's day I really enjoyed using it I really like original source this is always on offer it's super cheap but the scent is just incredible this is the SBC simply beautiful arnica body butter i got this from qvc arnica is obviously great for bruising or anything like that i don't remember why we bought these we bought this and it came with some arnica gel which is actually came in handy when my son fell over and bashed his ear a long story this was a really really thick super thick hydrating body cream with arnica in it i don't think i'll repurchase it um, I can't even remember why we bought it. Obviously, I was sat in front of QVC one day going, yeah, yeah, I need that, I need that. Um, yeah, the, scent was, the scent was okay. This is definitely a cream that you want to put on in the evening and let like 20 minutes go by before you get dressed. Um, it was enjoyable. Nice big size tub. Yeah, well, yeah. Side note, I really love QVC. I really do. You can get Beauty Bar on QVC, by the way. And it has a money back guarantee, so yeah. Uh, what's this? Can't even read it. This is the Juice Cleanse Harper and Ari or Ari Exfoliating Sugar Cubes. Oh, I got these in a Fab Fit Fun box. I'll link the video in the description. These were literally like massive big green sugar cubes and they're exfoliators. And when I looked at them, I just thought that is just a novelty. That's how is that going to work? How is that going to exfoliate my entire body? Each cube, you know, it was a good, decent size were so gritty and so grainy that you needed just one cube and you could use that to exfoliate your whole entire body i thought they were genius i think they're a really great idea to travel you could pop like one or two in like a little ziploc bag if you're restricted on like liquids and stuff if you're flying love them they worked they were easy to use they were fun to use 
I think I might repurchase it. I'm going to check out how much they were because sometimes with FabFitFun, you fall in love with a product and then you find out that it costs £500 and you're like, yeah, I love it, but not that much. This is the Body Shop Shea Butter Richly Replenish Replenishing Shampoo. I used up the whole entire shampoo, but of course, way before I used up the conditioner. If you can use your shampoo and conditioner at the same rate, then you are literally like Harry Potter. I have never in my whole entire life gone through a shampoo and conditioner at the same time. Um, I really, really like them. They don't replace my favourite Kerastars by any stretch of the imagination. That's like my holy grail. But this smells really, really yummy. It does a really good job. It's really hydrating. I would repurchase this again. I've still got some Kara Styles on the go. And obviously I've still got probably like three quarters of the bottle of the conditioner. So maybe I'll buy, just buy the shampoo and then I can, anyway. Yeah, that was really nice. This is the Wish Exfoliating. I don't know why I said it like that. Wish. This is the Wish Powerfully Effective Naturals Exfoliating Foot Mask soothes and softens intense hydration so basically you put this on your feet before you go to bed and then you wake up with feet like a newborn baby not really um i kind of enjoyed it i can't massively say that when i used it i saw a huge difference however my feet aren't dry and they're looking quite good so it maybe does work actually thinking about it again this was from a fab fit fun box so depending on the price will depend on whether i will repurchase it or not Next thing is the Crest 3D White Strips. Um, these are the Brilliant Gentle white, uh, Teeth Whitening Strips. I get these in America. You can't get these in the UK. You might be able to get them from like eBay or, or Amazon, but officially in a store, you can't buy them. Um, so anytime I go to the States, I stock up on all the things that I can't, I can't get, like Bath and Body Works and definitely the Crest Whitening Strips. I have been using the Crest Whitening Strips, I want to say for maybe like 20 years. They have come a long, long way. Back in the day, you'd put them on and if you moved your mouth by like a, a millimetre, they'd slip and slide and fall off. Now you put them on, they grip hold of your teeth. I have to use the gentle variety. Um, my teeth are so, so sensitive to whitening. I did get the, the packet before this. I got like the super strong professional whitening ones and I could use like two and I was in absolute agony. <laughs> agony i'm sure they're absolutely fine for you they're a really affordable way to whiten your teeth they're like 40 50 dollars i think and like i said i've used them a really really long time my teeth aren't the whitest in the world but i feel like they kind of keep them on the whiter side rather than the coffee stain side these still make my teeth a little bit sensitive but not as much as the other kind of varieties i wish that we could get them here in the uk there's probably something in it, maybe like the peroxide levels or something that the EU or the UK are like, oh no, oh no, no, no. But I'm, oh yes, yes, get them on my teeth. Um, next time I visit the States, I'll definitely restock. Tiny little L'Oreal Elnet satin hairspray. Don't need to spend forever on this. It's a cult classic, right? Love me some L'Oreal Elnet. Favourite hairspray. The next thing is a Revitalash Advanced Eyelash Serum. This is incredible, incredible. This stuff actually works it really honestly works this size tube i think this is like a three mil tube i think or 3.5 mil this will last me three months um i use it every night before bed you just take the little kind of tiny tiny brush thing and bung it on your eyelashes <laughs> and it makes your eyelashes grow longer and stronger and thicker and fuller and it works um I haven't repurchased this, even though this is like my holy grail, because I got another lash serum in my FabFitFun. I've mentioned FabFitFun a lot. I'm going to use the Lashes MD1 and test that out, um, but it's going to be really pushed to top this bad boy. Right, this is the Body Shop Nicaraguan, oh, I can't say that, Coffee Intense Awakening Face Mask. Oh, my, I'm obsessed with coffee. And this was basically a face, a coffee face mask. It's just so, so good. The smell is insane. Every time I use it, it took every fibre of my body not to basically just lick it all off. 
it's um, slightly granular so when you rinse it off you can get a bit of an exfoliation it brightens up your skin what i liked in particular about this is that you only need to leave it on your skin for five minutes so there's no like having to lay down and, and rest for 25 minutes 45 minutes no one's got time for that especially in the morning so you can get up wash your face bung it on brush your teeth make your bed do all of those little kind of morning tasks and then you wash it off and you're done and it definitely brightens up your skin i just like the whole experience with the smell the texture um definitely would repurchase this not many more now I promise this is the be prepared honey and orange blossom be kind hand cream I really really like this I had this next to my bed and I applied it every night it smells like proper honey who's it by let's see oh it's by mad beauty so it's a UK brand um it's kind of Disney themed because I love me some Disney um so there's Winnie the Pooh on there hence the honey thing sunk into my hands really quick there is nothing worse then when you use a hand cream and then you are like stuck for 25 minutes not being able to touch anything only thing i didn't like is it's massive and i'm really fickle with hand creams and stuff i like to change them up a lot so i much prefer smaller sizes with hand creams this was just so huge it took me such a long time to use up um but i used it up and i would possibly repurchase it but maybe just a smaller one if they had it another hand cream this is from the bath and body works this is the marshmallow pumpkin latte shea butter hand cream like I said, with the Crest Strips, we don't have the Bath and Body Works here in the UK, which is just actually devastating. So anytime I visit the States, I stock up on a whole bunch of things. Candles, foaming hand soaps, body products, and these little mini hand creams. I really like them. This is the kind of hand cream size I like rather than like this massive one. Perfect size for your handbag. But all the Bath and Body Works products smell incredible. If you if you are in the UK, you want to check them out. There are loads of like Facebook groups where people buy a whole bunch of Bath and Body Works and they sell them to UK people. I've never purchased from a Facebook group, but when I go to the States, I definitely stock up. Love this. The last thing is the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Extra Strength Daily Pill. This is a patented two-step pill with seven acids to help smooth fine lines, minimise the look of pores, and it says that you can achieve clinical results at, at home. There are three treatments in here. I've kept a little packet, obviously, to show you guys. It's like a two-step pill. So you rub step one all over your face, which exfoliates and smooths. You leave it on, I think, for like two minutes, and then you take number two, which is the anti-aging neutraliser sounds very complicated and then you rub that all over your face and away you go it felt really nice like i actually felt with step one not that it was painful but i felt it doing something and sometimes when you use products like this i want to feel that it's like eating away all the dead layers of skin and despair and regret i got this in one of those big sephora kind of mix boxes you know when you get a bit of everything in it when i went in november i love things like that where you can get minis and you can try brands out or products out that you wouldn't necessarily have bought off your own back really enjoyed these i don't know if i'd rush out to buy them again but i think if they were like everyone's special offer or anything i might check them out and that is it we are done that was all of my beauty empties all of my rubbish and my trash i'm now going to put some of this in the recycling chuck it away um and start collecting again let me know in the comments actually down below if you've used any of these products what you thought of them or if you've got any brand new holy grail products that you've discovered recently that you think i should check out i clearly i love me some products i get through a lot i really do get through a lot of products anyway thank you so much for watching if you've enjoyed this don't forget to give it a quick little thumbs up i don't know why it's quick or little but i'd appreciate it and if you want to hit that subscribe button it helps me out massively and that way you won't miss any of my new videos anyway i'm gonna stop waffling have a wonderful day thank you so much for watching i'll speak to you soon take care guys